my fellow programmers, this is Sugar Code Broker, and as I promised, this is the developing video of Dijkstra's algorithm. First of all, let's let's see how the description wants the program to be. The program reads from a file the number of nodes n, the graph has, and then reads the arcs description until the end of file. Arcs description example. Arc which connects one to three will wait for with wait sorry with wait for is gonna be descriptive as one three four outputs the distance array after running Dijkstra's algorithm and the source node will always be one so that's how the program will actually work uh, nodes are indexed from one to n uh, as you as you may have realized and we're actually gonna let, actually run Dijkstra's algorithm with the source nodes source node will be always one right so that's the description all right guys so right now i'm gonna i'm gonna create the sample input and sample output just for you to see and i'm gonna be based on the graph that i i have designed in paint in the right side and the first thing that i'm gonna write er, type down is the number of nodes which is six and then I'm gonna go ahead and write down how the arcs actually are. One to three with weight three, three to two with weight two, three to five with weight one, two to five, sorry, two, two to five with weight three, five to six with four weight six, and C to four with weight one, right? So after running the algorithm, the output will be like that. The distance from one to one is a zero. Best distance to three is three. Best distance to sorry, best distance to, to two actually, which is the next number. It's gonna be five. Two three is gonna be three. Two four is gonna be six. 5 is gonna be 4 and 2 6 is gonna be 10 right so this is the output I just I have run the algorithm in my mind just to show you how the output actually works and that should be the output all right so let's delete that delete this text and just let Create, let's create the input file. This is the input file, right? That I'm gonna be using, and the output should be the same as I have extracted it, right? <coughs> so let's go ahead and start developing in C++. Let's analyze the code that I typed down, and I'm, I'm gonna analyze it line by line. But you will be able to find the code um, in a link that I will put in the description, so you can actually see how it works right so I'm um, first of all including my two libraries for input and output iostream for screen and fstream for file using namespace std and ifstream fin is gonna be my input file I'm just declaring it right now let's see my variables integer n which is gonna be the number of nodes integer a b w which is gonna be used for input a to b with weight w and these are my three arrays uh, two-dimensional array adjacency matrix one-dimensional array distance and one-dimensional array visited which is going to be set to zero because it's it's declared in the global variables right now let's go ahead in the main function I'm loading here. I'm reading n, which is the number of our nodes, and initializing a digest matrix. I'm setting all all the all the cells to minus one, right? So it, minus one will will mean that there is no connection. And uh, then initializing the distance, they are all gonna be set to minus one. I'm gonna use minus one as my infinity, and the distance 
of 1 is going to be set to 0 as it's going to be our root, right? 1 is going to be our root. Now I'm reading until we end the file all the connections A to B with weight W and updating the adjacency matrix. And then I'm running Dextra starting from my root, which is 1. Alright, so Dextra gets the root, gets the current node actually, uh, sets the current node as visited, set it for 2, 1, as they were all 0 before, and then updates the the nodes that actually connect with with the X, alright? So I'm, I'm running for all the, the nodes, that uh, yes, for all the nodes, and I check if they are not visited and the adjacency matrix of x to i is minus 1 so it's not minus 1 so it actually connects with x and then I'm gonna check if distance of x plus the adjacency matrix x to i which is the arc is smaller than the distance that i already has or the distance of i is minus 1 which means infinity alright and so if that if that uh, holds then we're gonna update i so its distance will be distance x plus the adjacency matrix x to i which is the arc as we said and after updating all the nodes we're gonna select the new node uh, I use two variables here integers malware and sw and I'm uh, I'm going to run it again for all the nodes, I'm going to check which is which go, is going to be the next node. Of course, it should not be visited, the distance of it should be uh, bigger or equal to zero, as it should belong to, uh, in our graph. SW should be bigger than the distance that I has, so it's, it's closer than SW or SW is minus 1. I have just used minus 1 as infinity here too to find the smaller smaller weight and since the weight of it the distance actually of it is smaller than the existing one I'm gonna change it I'm gonna change the existing smaller weight and smaller we get the value actually we'll get the index of I right so I have actually find found the, the the smaller node which is actually having the which is actually closer than every every other node that is not visited and belongs in our graph. Right? And if it's not minus one I am I'm actually gonna gonna run the extra for for it, for the smaller node. Uh, let me actually I don't want to turn zero right here. No, oh, well it's not needed, but uh, when our process will, will end, we're gonna return zero too. All right. So let's compile and run our code. So as you can see, the results are as we have been expecting: zero, five, three, six, four, and ten. It's the same result as that I have extracted. From before all right guys so I'm gonna I'm gonna put the a link in the description for for the code I hope you realized how my my code actually works you can actually pause the video and think or you can actually sit down and start developing your own dexterous algorithm just to just to see how it works and I hope that I helped you guys. Please uh, support my channel. And I will see you in the next video that I'm going to be making. Goodbye.